Hey guys and wow, super excited. Welcome to Arbaleus on this superb July afternoon. And I've come over to do a walk around of something rather special. The wonderful three bed, three bath villa Chakinta, which is set in these gardens. I'm blown away by these gardens. It's absolutely gorgeous and like a real tropical oasis. It's situated in the La Perla community of Arbalea, so within walking distance of the centre on the level, but enjoys absolutely spectacular views. Now you've got a, a good entrance drive via double electric gates, and we'll have a look at that in a second in a bit more detail. Just pan around the garden. And this is from the, the villa frontages right behind me. And just look at those absolutely staggering backdrops. Pool. 8x4 but absolutely pristine. Now the villa, as well as being three beds and three baths, has a wonderful covered porch just off of the kitchen and a lovely roof terrace solarium. It looks out over these spectacular views. And if a three bed, three bathroom villa is ample for you, then they really don't get much better than this. How beautiful. You can just see the arch fronted covered porch over there. Bay fronted lounge diner, the double doors in front of me. I'm panning around to this side, and another set of glorious double doors which are coming off the master bedroom and afford wonderful views. Apologies, you may have heard there. I know the neighbours on both the right and the left, and the ones on the right saw me filming and shouted, Oi, over the wall, how are you? <laughs> Apologies. So I've come to the entrance drive double electric gates behind me and open out onto this good sized off street parking area that's been screened off from the wonderful front garden by these conifers and assorted palms and yuccas but you can actually trim this hedge back on the left hand side and go all the way around the back where there's further ample parking you could put a boat a motor home whatever you want around the back you'll see in a second covered porch from this angle and I can't explain but it's 35 36 degrees out there in the sunshine and this is just like beautiful breeze coming through here and in the shade absolutely gorgeous you can see the access gates I've come in via and then door access off of the left of this straight into the kitchen so this makes this a perfect kind of outside dining entertaining spot and you can see the magnificent views there in the background. Panning around now from this angle, so I'm in the back garden. Now, stairs there leading up to the lovely roof terrace. We'll go and take a look in a second. Underneath those is a very handy understair storage cupboard. I'm not going to film inside there because it's obviously garden furniture, ladders, that sort of stuff. And then all the way around the back here, as you can see, ample more room for parking if required. The double doors there go into the second guest bedroom and then door access into the villa from this side that takes you into a nice central hallway. And then the last bedroom there on the left, and you can see continues on. There's a nice metal storage container there for garden furniture, bikes, etc. Now, I couldn't finish the outside without bringing you up onto this glorious solarium roof terrace and just wow. Up with the palms gently rustling and just check out these views. Right, let's whip down and take a look on the inside. So coming on inside the property, for if you like the back door, um, this brings you into a lovely hallway. The three main bedrooms are off of this, and the first thing that strikes you is just how beautiful light spacious and airy this villa is and I love this tiling scheme absolutely gorgeous and this runs throughout so arched access from the hallway leads you into this centrally located lounge dining room set of double doors you can see the pool straight out the front so the master bedroom and the kitchen and the living room look out over the pool and onto wonderful views very good size room 
the grotty old wood burner has been taken out and this wonderful um, log effect electric fire been put in there on the bay. Now we pan around from this end. Pull now behind me. You can see this fantastic tiling scheme runs throughout. You've got twin ceiling fans in here and pre-installed for air conditioning if you want to add it. Door on the left there goes straight off to the very good sized kitchen. And at the far end, that's the access door I've entered the villa by. Let's wander into the kitchen first. Door access there right in front of me and this takes you out to the wonderful shaded porch you saw from the outside. Very good sized kitchen. Little peek there from both sides for you. Back out to this nice central hallway. So when you're coming into the property, you're not walking direct into the living space. You can see lots of these little panel heaters have been fitted everywhere as well, which are great for just taking the chill off in the winter months. So the master bedroom first. This has got air conditioning and ceiling fan. All three bedrooms have got fitted wardrobes. So coming into here via the ensuite, shower room, absolutely clean as a whistle. And on into the main bedroom, fantastic wallpaper panel. A double bank of fitted wardrobes, and then that set of double doors that goes out to a lovely kind of sunbathing or shaded sunbathing spot, seating area, with kind of drawback awnings, I suppose. So you can literally come out your master bedroom, open these wonderful doors and bump into the pool. Coming out of here, you've got the second guest bedroom. You saw the double door access from this. It takes you out to the back and garden. Again, air conditioning and ceiling fan, and there's a bank of fitted wardrobes. To my right, and that's bathroom number two, another ensuite. Very good size. Now the last bathroom, absolutely immaculate. And then bathroom number three, the shared family bathroom. Full bath with overhead shower. And just off to the left of this, the smallest, the third bedroom, which is still a good double, but obviously opted for two single beds in here. Some of the garden cushions are in storage in here as well, so I won't film too much of those. What you won't be able to spot from the video, there's fly screens as well on all the windows. So just a beautifully presented three bed, three bathroom property in the La Perla community. Walking distance to the centre, just wonderfully put together and presented. Idea was a second home with great rental income in the period you're not using for full time residents. Works perfectly as well. Villa Jacinta. Full details will follow shortly. And for information or to arrange a viewing, just give us a call as always, Kalida Homes at hotmail.com via email or plus three four nine five zero four three zero seven six three by phone. Thanks for thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.